welcome to week 3 of best new mods for Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition. And no, the shadow is not changed. I just spent all day in the forest yesterday, so the episode is a bit delayed. But let's go straight to business and begin with some awesome mods for Skyrim. Meet Sasha the Assassin. She is a standalone follower waiting for you in Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. During the installation process, you can also choose from almost each well-known type of body for her, the one you like the most. She has her own custom set of armors and weapons, starts with level 10 and scales with your level later. She is also essential and manageable. Also, you can install option sneak perk so she turns invisible when sneaking. That's looking just awesome in combat. And in the next few seconds, there is a short demonstration of Sasha in combat. Immersive Merchants – buy what is on display, really. This little mod is simple as that. Haven't you ever thought that merchants should actually sell items on their shelves? Now it's logically fixed. You can just buy any item you see in the shop. And of course, if you still want to steal it, just go into sneak mode. The Four Horses of the Apocalypse this one adds 4 unique horse mounts into the game. You can find the spell books in Marunis Dagon Shrine, so the quest itself should be completed. After you learn the spells, you can summon 4 horses – War, Famine, Pestilence and Death. Each of them, in addition to unique look, has its own passive ability. War, for example, burns enemies close to you. Famine sends lockouts that slowly eats your enemies. Pestilence emits toxic clouds full of deadly diseases. And Death instantly kills targets that are under level 7. These mounts can be an awesome immersive addition to any kind of dark character – necromancer, assassin and so on. Peacemaker – just a simple and low-friendly, but absolutely greatly detailed sword, based on imperial sword design. Simplicity combined with the great utilization level make it a great warrior companion. You can also craft it and temper at any forge. I also want to mention Real Assassin Profile. He is making small but essential mods to support awesome NISM mods in Enderal. So now you can use Apocalypse, Vimir Tech and Spectroverse spells in Enderal. Author is releasing new similar mods gradually. And now it is special edition time. Do you want to have some new exploration and adventure? Welcome to Stonecrest City Reborn. It is a middle-sized mod that adds a complete new faction and a new town between Helgen and Riverwood. And also one more little docks location that you will visit during the main quest. When you will reach the level 31, you will receive a letter with invitation. Travel there to begin the questline and join the Bormer clan. The town itself is completely functional and full of life. It is nav meshed and packaged with AI for NPCs. What you will meet here? More than 40 new NPCs. 8 quests and new world space, more than 1500 new dialogues, many of them customly voiced, new followers, trainers and merchants and their stores, the interest and of course a chance to buy your own house here. Stonecrest can give you a decent amount of questing time and just a great, low-friendly addition to your game experience. Ever saw that the last bastion of Skyrim Vampire War should be not so depressed, more tough and powerful. If yes, meet Glorious Fort Dungard. This mod is a complete overhaul to Dungard Fortress. It adds new guard posts, new NPCs patrolling the area, 
a lot of additional structures, exterior lightings, banners, trainers, clutter, followers, stocks and even a few easter eggs. For Dungard, honestly never looked so alive before. In addition, this mod is compatible with any other Dungard protection mod to make the overhaul even more beautiful and to fit your personal taste. Dunstar. It is a huge work in progress overhaul to Dunstar city and the area around it. It adds just tons of new buildings, clutter, ships and a lot of other objects, making Dunstar look much more like a city but not a ghostly village and just glorious and beautiful in overall. Just let the pictures speak for themselves. Two more awesome and well-known mods were ported to Special Edition last week, and I just must mention them. First one is Joy of Perspective, immersion mod that is a complete overhaul of Skyrim first person that adds more realistic animation and a visible body. Animations can be chosen between the more realistic third-person style animations where weapons are held off-screen and vanilla style animations. Second one is a port of well-known Assassin's Creed inspired armor that is male, female and beast race compatible. Meet Dream Burrow's Regal Huntsman armor for special edition. It contains a lot of additional set parts that you can craft at any forge. When weird all together, this set is looking simply glorious and honestly, it is one of the best armors I've ever seen for assassin like characters. That's all for now folks, thank you for watching, have fun with new mods and see you next Sunday.